Well, welcome. Uh, getting a little bit of a late start. <laughs> getting a little bit of a late start, but uh, I'll explain that more once we get in the blind. But we're going waterfowl hunting today. Today's the opener for California, and so we're going to get out here and try to shoot some ducks. She has not shot a duck yet, and last time we went duck hunting was like 10 years ago. So it's been a long time. But we're gonna try to get her our first duck. We got two dogs, two of us. It's gonna be hectic, it's gonna be mayhem. So you should definitely watch, because it's gonna be comical hour out there. Very comical. So, come join us. We're gonna pack up, load our stuff up, and get out there so we can catch the second morning flight, and hopefully some people bump some birds to us. Wish us luck. You gonna make it? set up and everything had one bird pass just on the other side of the dike away from us yeah those are way out there the uh so the reason we got out here so late is obviously it's opening weekend and everything but uh we're hunting a refuge here in riverside california and uh they do 50 res up to 50 reservations and then you get put on a standby list after that so there was 36 reservations that showed up this morning and there were 76 people or 76 groups on the uh, standby list. So after they randomized the standby list, we ended up with the 49th pick and uh, all the blinds were full. So we got put on the refill list and a few blinds have come back with some limits or just had to go. And so they checked back in and uh, we were number 11th on that pick and we picked this pond just to get out here and get out uh, and get, get get going. Would have been nice to get in one of the more uh, defined lines out there, but uh, we got a duck way up high, right on the top of us. And uh, we would have been nice to get one of the made blinds, but we're gonna make do sit up here in the tall grass and uh, See if we can get one to dive bombs in here and wanting to get in this pond. Got a nice little setup here. Just a little bit of open water with some toolies. Put a little bit of a spread out, just a few decoys here and there. But uh yeah. It's a good two ducks going. Right here, babe. It's a good system they have out here in California where you can hunt these refuges and get out here and uh costs a little bit of money, but it's a good, goes for a good cause and allows opportunities to go hunting public land. You can hear the shots in the background. We're watching the ducks as they fly over people's blinds and get shot at. So we should be able to scrape a few ducks today. There's a lot of hunters out keeping the birds up and moving around. So should be able to scrape a few ducks if we, if we can get any good shots going off on them. So stay tuned, wish us some luck. Little update so we're two and a half hours in no shots fired so we're kind of repositioning ourselves midday it's 12 30 so i'm not not surprised so there's a couple birds here and there flying getting up and moving around but we'll probably sit until the evening and grind it out hopefully we can get some shots so, the guy that was in here before he shot a few teal so I know there's birds in here and 
were set up the same spot he was shooting from. So birds come in here. We just gotta catch them at the right time. So they were coming. We were gonna have a good shot at them. Well, that's probably gonna do it for us out here at the uh, good old pond. Nothing. I, you know, I'm dumbfounded right now. Didn't even see a duck flying in this vicinity since noon. And I mean, it's the last 15 minutes. There should be duck jumping in everywhere. And I, I just don't get it. So can't say we didn't try. We sat here for eight hours. So you can't say we didn't put in an effort. So. We tried our best, and we'll come back next week and try it again. So, this video will probably roll into tomorrow, right about now, or next week. Well, good morning, everybody. We're back at it again. Um, so, last time you saw me, we were. Uh, it was last Saturday, the opener, and uh, me and the wife were out here trying to get some ducks, and as you saw, nothing. Didn't even fire a shot, but came back out here, tried again this morning. I'm out here solo, so uh, I'll do my best to uh, get some good footage for you guys. Doing a uh, solo duck hunt, self-film is going to be kind of uh, tricky, So especially where we're at. So we were able to get out this morning. We had to sweat line it again, but we got lucky in the uh, draw, and we were number seven pick. So we got, a, uh, I, I believe, a, a good blind, halfway decent blind, so... We're out here uh, at one of the ponds. It's full of toolies. They uh, cut them down pretty good, probably waist high. So, but uh, where the blinds at is still covered in toolies, and the water's not high enough. So we're gonna push out in front of the toolies, um, right to the edge. I found a nice little clump of them with some open water in front of it, kind of in front, and then to the right of us. And uh, hopefully we can catch some cruising on by and want to come down here and land. So. Uh, might be a pass shoot, might be uh, get some to decoy, but I'm excited. I think we're gonna get some good shots today and uh, hopefully I can get some good footage for you and we can get some ducks. Got uh, the yellow lab today, left the chocolate girl at home, but uh, yellow's birthday was yesterday, he's five now, so hopefully we can get him some some birthday birds and get him on, on some good duck hunt. So stay tuned, we got about still 45 minutes until uh, shoot time and then we'll be getting after it. Well, that was a very exciting first 30 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know I have some bad habits and stuff, but I definitely should have hit a few more birds than that. Um, I fired like 20 shots in the first 25 minutes, and uh, I got one coot. Gosh dang coot started mixing in with the teal, and it just came in too pretty, and I crushed it. But I know they're not the greatest at eating, but they'll make a good training aid for the, uh, for the dog. Keep them, keep them uh, up to date. So now I'm being a lot more selective on my shots because the wildlife refuges here were only allowed to uh, have 25 shells in the blind. And of course, I didn't bring any extras in the truck either. So I got five shells left and seven birds I got to kill. So I don't think that's going to happen, but I'd like to take home a couple and uh, yeah, so I'm being a lot more selective with my shots. Hopefully I can get one to come in here to the decoys and land. Um, I had one land in the decoys and I covered him up with my pattern and I didn't see, I don't see it out there. So, and I thought I saw it kind of scurry off. So I'm gonna go search the toolies, make sure it didn't tuck up in the toolies and die. But yeah, I mean, there's birds all over. A lot of teal, a lot of teal, but there's birds all over and uh, a lot of shooting going on this morning. So it's been productive. I had my opportunities, which is all I can ask for. And uh, yeah, I had bad habits and I left my head up off the gun because I want to watch it die. So maybe I can try to cure that in this next five shots and get some good opportunities, better opportunities and uh, make it happen. So we're gonna talk setup real quick. Um, so I'm out here, you can kind of see 
it's like just a big pond with a bunch of tulies. They're almost like in rows, like corn rows. And then I got some open water up here in front of me. And then like it kind of goes back into a little cut right here. So I put the decoys in this little cut thinking, and then some out there straight across the front thinking they'd want to come and land on the edge of those decoys. Uh, sitting just facing just like this uh, in one of these rows behind a tule patch. And most of the ducks all came from that direction flying this way. So that edge of the tulies is about 30 yards, maybe 35, 40 yards in front of me. And then that tule patch back there is probably another 70, 80 yards away. You can kind of see there's a bunch of coots and some ruddy ducks and bufflehead swimming all back, all back there, Ooh, all back there. That's about 80 to over 100, 125 yards away from me. So most of the ducks all flew down that little channel right there or on that other little Thule Island out there about 80 yards out. So I didn't get a whole lot of good, good shots, opportunities. So first thing this morning, I had a couple shots right here close to where I'm sitting. And then I noticed that they were all flying that way. So I hopped to another Thule patch right about there and then still was just out of the range that I wanted to be. So I went to the edge and sat there for the uh, remainder of the shoot time and kind of until the sun kind of got more above me. And then uh, I was sticking out like a sore thumb. So then I came back here and sat back here, and, but I had plenty of opportunities. I just suck. I don't know if I was shooting too tight of a choke. I was shooting a mid range Carlson extended choke. I don't know if I should have went with a close range um i was covering them up um but i still just could not get get him to fall i uh i know i hit some i hit that one coot like dead center but i know i hit some other ducks i just couldn't get them to uh to fall down so i don't know i know i lift my head up off the gun and i shoot underneath them a lot that's my my big habit because um, i want to watch where they fall but uh, I still should have been able to scratch a couple teal out of here. So kind of disappointed myself, but it happens. It's the first real shoot I've had. I mean, yeah, opening weekend, I didn't even pull a trigger. So it's the first shoot I've had all year. And uh, it can be expected to go this way. So give it probably another 30 minutes or so. So I'm hoping some of these bufflehead or ruddy ducks will swim over this way and give me an opportunity to to jump them up and shoot them but we shall see there's one right there can't zoom can't zoom in I'm zoomed all the way in but he's right you can see him swimming there that's still about 70 yards away so we'll see if he comes a little bit closer but a couple buffalo head out there and stuff so cool watch them see see how they act see how they land and stuff like that the duck I shot, that the coot I got, I thought it was going to be a, uh, a big duck or, or a teal because it was flying, you know, 50 yards up, 40 yards in the sky. And I usually I see coots skirt the, the bottom, so I was kind of surprised by that. But, uh, all right, continuing on. Here's another angle. You can see where we were hiding. We weren't in the actual blind. You can kind of see, you can see where my camera's at, set up, right? Right there. Right there, I was sitting just to the uh, right of that, so you might be able to see the dog's face right there. That's where we were hiding, and uh, like I said, it just didn't work. So we pushed up here, and then just hit these little tule rows, seeing what we could get into. But yeah, that was the greatest shot. So Let's see all those ducks out there, coots. Lots of coots. Well, that's gonna do it for me today out here. Um, I know it's super early, probably missing the nine o'clock flight, but I only got three shells left, so I'd be very picky about my shots anyways. Probably could have made a couple shots earlier, but I was trying to uh, pick the prime shots. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get home. Got a little bit of house cleaning to do, and then it's uh, take the kids trick-or-treating. Happy Halloween, everybody. 
Um, like always, I hope you guys would hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that bell notification button as well, and uh, give it a thumbs up. It, we appreciate it a lot. It helps us out, and um, we're trying to build it, build an, uh, a following here, and um, getting you some great content and great videos, and you know, we show it how it really is. You're gonna have days like this, especially when you're when you're with me. I uh, I'm not the greatest shot. I need to work on that a lot, and uh, but get out here. I have fun. I enjoy it, even if I'm just throwing steel at them and not even doing anything. Getting them is just a bonus. So, still enjoy myself out here and everything like that. So, once again, appreciate it. If you haven't, go to oldbreedoutdoors.com. Check out some of our merchandise. Buy yourself a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. It, uh, it helps us out a lot and helps us get out there and buy tags. And that's what we turn around and do the money, use the money for is just buying more tags. Buying ga paying gas money to get to hunt. So... Thank you, appreciate it, and uh, hit that subscribe button.